Hey guys, Erpel Eeple here. I want to talk about how you can sidechain an external plugin in Ableton because I got a lot of questions about that in my last video, which was a Reaper based video. So I'm going to show you that now. So I have a basic drum beat here. And I have a bass patch from Serum. And so together, without any side chaining, they sound like this. So I want to duck the bass for the kick, but I'm not going to use a normal compressor. I'm going to use a dynamic EQ. So I have Tokyo Dawn's Nova here, which I used in my last video, set up to take input from the external sidechain. And I have a low shelf set up to duck. So if we play this, nothing, right? So how do we get the signal into Nova? Well, the most obvious way would be to set the output of this channel to the bass. Obviously the kick now is getting into Nova, but we don't hear it because we terminated it. It's no longer feeding the master bus. So we don't want that. So we'll set this back to the master and we need to find a way to basically duplicate this signal. Now, the way you see most tutorials do this is they create a new audio channel. We can even name it sidechain. You set the input to the kick and then the output to the bass and then input monitoring. So now if we play it, Nova is now ducking the low end of the bass for the kick. The problem with this that I don't like is it limits how many things can feed the bass to just one. Another way to put it is how many things can feed the external side chain of your plugin is limited to just one channel in this kind of a setup. So instead, what I'd rather do is set up a return track. I can name this side chain now. And now I can send the kick to it and pick this output as the base. Same thing, but the benefit to this is that if I want to, I can send multiple things to this. What we're doing is we're mimicking a real bus system because Ableton doesn't have one. Most DAWs do. In a way, what a bus is, is it's a parallel copy. We could even name this bus one to make it more obvious, except in most DAWs, then it's hidden. So this would be a track you don't even see. And if I, in the sends list, would pick bus one, then it would send to that. And I could then route that hidden channel to a destination. And in this case, that's what we're doing. If I had other things I wanted to combine into this sidechain input, then I could send as many of them as I want that to trigger the sidechain in Nova. All right, guys, hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And please, if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe.